isn't for me though. This is for your own protection. This is to clear your energy here. Because I'm about to tell you something a little bit scary. It's an album review, but it's scary good. So this is for your own protection, you little heathens. So the album is Chamber Music by the band Cold Chamber. And it is a really good album. I always kind of feel like it's a Christmas album, even though it's not. Because I got it for Christmas when I was like 13. So, you know. Anyway, so the album starts with Mist, which is like really sad. And it's just, um, it's just sound. There's no lyrics in the first song. But it's like perfect for like the clinically depressed little girl that I was. Nothing wrong with getting help, by the way, people. But anyway, so it's a, it's beautiful because it's chamber music, right? So it's going, you already know it's going to be like a heavy, sad album. That's a perfect start with Mist. Um, and then it goes into Tragedy, which is awesome because it's kind of like Des has awoken you from this sad dream and he's like screaming at you and he's like, truth is like a tragedy. And you're like, oh my God, it kind of is, isn't it? And then right after that, um, it goes into El Cucuy which is awesome um and i mean there's some deep dark lyrics put together in there but it's like in such a melodic way and i just i love that here let me keep clearing your energy so that so the kukui doesn't come after you um and then so anyway so i love like at the end of the kukui the lyrics it says so sincere but the way that des says it is just i just love it it's just the best and then like right after el kukui it goes straight into untrue Oh, that had some little sparks in it. It goes straight into Untrue. And I love the way it starts off with the bass. And that's one thing that I really, really, really love is that Des knew Reyna's, um, you know, talent and wasn't afraid to use the bass player's talent because a lot, honestly, like a lot of bands don't do that. You know, a lot of bands, they don't, they don't really put um, the bass player's talents out there for everybody to see. And I love that Des understands the talent that he's working with, you know? So, um, Anyway, so that's untrue. And then um, and then after that is Tyler's song, which is really cool because uh, for parents and not just for parents, but honestly, I think anybody facing any sort of darkness from their past, it's a really nice way to kind of have Des's voice guide you through some of the tougher things. And, you know, to just I mean, it's such a sweet song. It's all it's sad because he's talking about like how the world is. You can't trust it. And honestly, I mean, it's true. You can trust me. But you can't trust anybody just off the street, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, um, straight cisgender men. Let's just say it how it is. Look, I'm even going to use some Palo Santo to clear off my energy because I'm being so, so bad. Um, anyway, so with Tyler's song. Oh, but you know what? The cutest little part of it, it's talking about uh, respect your mommy. Always think of her first. And I think that's so sweet because it's so Des, you know, like because he's so heavy and so hard. But then he also has that soft, soft heart. Um, and then, so anyways, after Tyler's song, we have What's In Your Mind. What's in your mind? What's in your mind? And, um, okay, so my mom hated the beginning of this song, and that's probably why I have to keep cleansing my energy as well. My mom hated the beginning of this song because it sounds evil. And she said that it was un demonio, which is like a demon, which, okay, to be fair, yes, it does absolutely sound like that. But that's why it's such a great album, because it's so dark and it's supposed to sound like a demon is, is you know, in your ears telling you to do good things, though. Okay, do good things. Don't do bad things. Do good things. Be kind. I don't know if that's what Des meant, but I'm telling you all, please be kind, okay? We don't we don't need any more bad things in our world. Here. Okay. Okay. So then after that we have Not Living and it's such a romantic song. It's so sweet. Or is it? I think you need to listen to that song. Listen to that song and then you come back to me and you tell me if it's sweet or not. Okay. Okay. So then right after is my favorite song off of the album chamber music, which is shock the monkey. And I love it because Ozzy's in it. Like, um, I loved Ozzy Osbourne as a kid. So, so, so much because most kids do. Right. I mean, he's fun. He's campy, but, um, anyways, but he was in, in that song. He's the special guest star. And the, um, the music video for it was amazing because let me just say, Raina was like fully pregnant in that, in that, I'm not just, I'm not pregnant, but Raina was fully pregnant in that video. And it was awesome because she was still fucking playing her bass. It was the coolest thing ever. 
So I really love that about the song too, is, is the video itself. But can you imagine though, being like a kid and then, you know, listening to Ozzy and then growing up and like you have a video with him. I'm just so happy for the people in Cold Chamber that, you know, that they got to experience something like that. And I mean, with good reason, because the band is amazing. Okay, so speaking of amazing, right after Shock the Monkey, we have Burgundy. And it's, uh, it's pretty. There's really pretty female um, backing vocals in that one. And then after that, we have Entwine. And then the drums. Okay, the beginning of that one is awesome because the drums are so Mikey. And you just got to hear it. It's so fun. It's so upbeat. But then it's kind of like upbeat when someone's punching you in the face at the same time. Really good drums. So listen to that one. Then we have Feed My Dreams. And I love that one. Um, I love all of it. The drums, the guitar, the bass, vocals, everything. And I love at the end, you hear um, Des's voice. And he's like, I'm not asleep. And I like that. Listen to that part. And then, and then also get back to me on that. Are you asleep? Tell me. Okay, so right after Feed My Dreams, there's uh, My Mercy. And that one is a slow, soft, romantic song. It's actually really sweet, but right on with the album. So it's not like a lot of screaming and stuff. Um, it's definitely more melodic, very romantic, really unexpected, but in a really, really nice way for the album because we're almost at the end of the album and you've absorbed a lot of this darkness. Okay, so then uh, then we have No Home and um, it's heavy and very real. The lyrics are very, very real. And I think a lot of folks would be able to relate to it if you listen to it because it's, it's dark, it's heavy, but you know, um, especially if you've come from a point of trauma, that song No Home is really, really therapeutic to listen to. And then there's Sherry Vegas which is a really fun song that, you know, the beginning of it, like the guitar in the beginning of the song is really different from anything else on the album. You got to listen to it because it's a little bit more, not upbeat, but a little bit sharper, but in, in a more, I don't know, but it's, it, I would want to say upbeat, but really, I don't think anybody else would call it that, but we'll just call it that. Okay. Sherry Vegas, kind of upbeat. After that, we have Notion and that's another one where the drums in the beginning are awesome. I love it. Total Mikey drums. Really, really cool. Um, and then after that is Anything But You, which is at the very end of the album. We're coming to the end of the album and it is so good. I love the way that it ends the album and the bass is like telling you, I'm coming for you, but I'm not, or maybe I am. Stay on guard. Anyways, that's chamber music. So listen to it. I cleared your energy, so you're good to go. So go listen to it. It's really good. 